The first thing I do is wake up at 4 a.m. and then jump straight into a cold shower because that's how you do things in order to be successful. And then I practice gratitude for around six hours. And then finally I proceed to actually do the daily things in game and in real life. I always collect the VIP points and the heads first. Then I proceed to either collect resources or get the newspaper. And then I check the mail to claim any rewards, read any mails, check the markers. And then it's freestyle from there. If there's a courier, I try to buy from her as soon as possible because she is on a timer. So she could escape by the time I get to her. That sounds kind of creepy, but you know what I mean. But uh, <laughs> so then I proceed to go to my expedition and I always claim the rewards, always buy the Ethelfed heads, and then maybe if I see any stars, either epic or legendary, it's always good to have them. And then I always do at least one canyon duel just so I could get the quest done for the day. And then later on, if I remember, to actually go ahead and spend the rest of my tickets, but that's not very often. And then I proceed to, you know, check my inventory from all the goodies. And as you can see, I don't really hoard any gems or VIP points. I use them straight away. There's no preference to it. I just don't like seeing it in my inventory. Maybe there's like an OC OCD thing to it, but then I proceed to use my boosts. I try to do my boosts even if I had them active just so I could get the quest ticked off and I want to like my main goal with each day is to finish the daily objective like in under an hour if possible just so I could get it out of the way so I can spend the rest of the day doing things the reason I recorded my routine today is because there are a lot of things going on in game this is the second day of more the jumps and this is the day I max my state forum. And this is the day where I finally get some good armaments. Yeah, right. And of course, it's the stage two and day two of tra training for pre-KVK. And there's a training event. So I decided to really... And of course, the, the reduced training cost. I got lucky with the 50% reduced training cost for resources and I want to take advantage of that by placing highly on the training day event which I think my aim is to get at maybe top 20 but we'll see how tomorrow goes yesterday on the first day of morning gems I decided to cash in all of the 7k gems into the state forum currency and then I today I did the rest so I, I really wanted to have 14k gems and Marauders helped me with that, but not as much as I hope for, which is why I didn't spend a lot of action points on them this time around. And I, and I don't think I will in the future as well. I think the, the KVK barbs are much better value for an older player like me. And I really need all the crystals I can get as a free to play. Some might be concerned I'm only left for like a thousand gems, but I'm really not scared because first there's a lot of events coming on like other stages of pre-KVK and then actual KVK and all the Chronicles and then there's Karak ending tomorrow and Shadow Legion so there's a lot of gems to be had in this week so me deciding to spend like 14k on two days is really not an issue for me I can get it all back and now since I maxed the state forum I get all the building quests done so whenever that event comes around but I think it's 650 gems i get that for free and that's only the main that's the main reason i really decided to push for level 25 state forum i could have slow rolled it over the days but i really wanted to get it done and out of the way so i can get all the quests done and get all the gems and just the perfection side of it i really want to have all my buildings maxed as you can see my inventory I always use my gems, my VIP, maybe that's a mistake, maybe not, but it's just how I play. And just remember, I'm not telling you how to do these things. I'm just showing you how I do it. So I'm not telling, I'm not telling you to copy me or anything. I'm just showing you what I do. 
and I get a lot of questions regarding on how much do I play actually and I'll make a separate video about how my day goes when I'm in KVK as well and it's much more much more demanding especially the first week of KVK which is gonna be in a couple days and I will make a video about that as well but yes outside of KVK my main strategy is to finish like I've said in less than an hour all the day, all the things that could that can be done and during the day I just log in send out some farmers and show up for any alliance events that are there and some events that couldn't be done at that time frame I finish them later things like that spend out my action points on forts but mostly barbs I don't do many forts as I could but I just I just find the home barbarians in home kingdom much more rewarding in gems and that's what I usually need and maybe I'm a bit selfish there but I try to do some forts in and join them so I'm not really so i'm not that selfish in that regard but i i admit i'm not doing a lot of forts especially now with all the action points nerfed a long ago a long time ago also as you can see i'm training without a rune no title lots of speed ups used but the main reason why i train t forge in such a big number is because I've graded a lot of them for the past zenith and I really want to have more T4s, especially infantry because I run two infantry marches and my Trajan march is mostly infantry so that's like a two and a half infantry marches and I'm really not and I'm really not rich in gold so I really want to use full T4s this KVK so I can see that experience and uh, I do not have enough T4s for that maneuver so I'm, I'm really trying to train more and I will train more after this video probably later today or tomorrow just so I can have enough so I can really take advantage of all things going on in game especially the 50% discount which I got lucky and I, I have a really sufficient amount of speed ups that I can really use and not really break a sweat on and uh, it's been that it's been like that for like a year now and no matter what i do i always have enough speed ups to do for my demands so i'm really fortunate in that and i wish my re resources were you know the same like that but you know you can't have it all as you can see on the screen i was doing some materials upgrading and this pad of wisdom event you know the five day event is not really worth doing and it this just happened to be like a side side quest in a way like it's it was like a side effect of the pre kvk and i'm not really intending to f get all the rewards but i will because it just happened to be time like that but i usually don't really max out this event because the rewards are really not worth it you're just doing it for like a, one epic material and some keys it's just I think the rewards need to be upgraded in that regard to be actually worthwhile. So if you're really like, if you think you're missing out on not maxing this event, then please don't be because it's just very un underwhelming at best. Oh, and uh, if you found some value watching so far, then please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. It should be on your bottom right side of the screen it will help me a lot and it costs you like a second to do it the only thing i didn't show in this video and something i usually do is recycle the armaments the epic and blue ones mostly just so i could get the currency so i can buy more stones i reached the point where i need five stones for every armament that i got is worth doing so for me that takes like once a week maybe twice depending on the events and it's becoming really hard to actually upgrade my armaments and it gets usually very frustrating to see using my five precious stones and not get the right stat that i want but it's just how the game it is and hopefully once 
once this forum is maxed i can get some more luck out of it but i really doubt it and i wouldn't really recommend going out of your way to spend a lot of gems on the state forum the chances are saying they're improved but i don't know it's very it's very random even at the higher levels so if you think you're missing out don't be and uh, this concludes the video i reached 100 points well over and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one